Let's try to always focus on getting the hands flat every single time that we do forward fold, and then this will equate to helping the hands go flat and everything else that we do. The uh, response from the community has been really awesome to see how much headway people have gained by working and putting the da putting the hands down and such. So it's been really, really, really cool. So I hope everybody is uh, partaking in that and uh, you know making the making the right proper moves to keep the hands flat. Another thing is that we'll be uh, staying low down to the ground today. So try to um, keep staying low, you know what I mean? Try to work to put it down. And then, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to be here. So let's start on our backs like I was uh, speaking about. And when you come onto your backs, everybody, I would like you all to just bring the knees in and just feel what's going on in the back. Like feel the ribs come down, <laughs> the legs extend. And as the legs extend, everyone, try to reach the legs out and pull one knee in. So it could be your right or your left, whatever you would like to do. And then uh, pull the other knee in and do it again. You know what I mean? It's just so like when we, when like, you could feel what makes sense to you. Sometimes like you ask people to do things and it doesn't make sense to them. And I'm like, just, do something that makes sense. That's why you always hear me say, hey guys, move freely. Be as free as you can be. Nice, and you know, on Saturday we get really deep into the hips and through the movement was where we really open up the hips. So we're gonna start now. Bring the right knee in and cross the right knee over the left side like a supine twist like we always do in the end of classes. Look over to the right, move around a little bit, Feel your hip flexors, feel your preformis on the right side, feel that right arm reach out. <clears throat> and then everybody bring the knee back in and let's move over to the other side. Let's pull it in. And then when you go to the other side, put your hand down, look over to the other side. And again, move it around everybody. Move it around, back and forth, back and forth. So again, we're on our backs, people in the social worlds and we're pulling our knees in. And now everybody bring both knees in and let's see if we can come into happy baby. Since Wednesday, we have been really emphasizing a lot on uh, arm balancing and especially crow. And a lot of people suffered here because their hips are so tight that the crow suffers and lives on their elbows because of these hip flexors. And when everyone's ready, let's cross the ankles and let's start to rock back and forth. And when you eventually roll up to your ass, cross the ankles, and let's just find one minute on working to becoming still. You know, I always try to say to everybody in our classes, a lot of times I describe it as stillness and chaos. You know, that you could find stillness and challenge your body while we're moving with such a pace. So when your eyes are closed, take a big inhale and lift your shoulders up. And on your exhale, roll the shoulders back and just let it go. Maybe you start to set an intention here. Maybe you start to let go of anything that's around you, the sounds, the smells. And then we'll reach our arms up, everyone. And then let's start different. Let's reach our right hand to the ground on the right side and let's just reach that left arm over and let's feel the left side of the body. And then inhale the arms up and let's do the same thing on the other side. Left hand will go out, right hand will reach out. And then inhale, arms rise up. And then one more time, right hand to the right side, left hand will reach out and over. And then inhale, arms up, and then over to the other side and do the same thing, reach out, Nice, let's continue to move. Inhale, arms rise up, <clears throat> and exhale, twist to the right side. We're gonna go three times like we normally do. Inhale, lift the arms up, and then exhale to the other side. Inhale, lift the arms up, exhale over to the right side. Inhale, lift the arms up, 
then exhale over to the other side. Last time, everybody. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale to the right side. And then inhale, lift the arms up. And exhale over to the left side. Inhale, lift the arms up. And then forward fold. Roll over your hands and knees and let's come into child's pose. We get the child pose, everybody. If your wrists are not warm, please open and close your hands a bunch of times. Press the palms down. Maybe walk the hands a little bit different. Walk the hips back a little bit. Open up the knees. Everybody take a big inhale in and then roll up to cat on your exhale. Press into the hands and then inhale into cow and then go right back to cat on the exhale. And then inhale into cow and then exhale right back. And then inhale into cow, drop the chest between the thumbs, slide forward into cobra, look down at the ground, pull the shoulders back, press into the hands, and then exhale through child. Keep rolling through the cats, inhaling through the cow, dropping chest between thumbs, coming forward into cobra, maybe hands are wider, maybe fingertips, right? Do all of the things that we work on during the week. Exhale through child. We're gonna go three more times. Exhale into cat. Inhale into cow. Drop chest between thumbs. Come forward into cobra. Pull the shoulders back. Exhale through child. Keep going up into the cat. Keep going, everybody. Listen up. After your second one, right now you guys should be going through cow and to the dropping down. The next time you see cow, Lift your knees off the mat and then just roll forward into plank and then go knees, chest, chin. And then do that two times. So instead of going the down dog from your cow, just lift the knees a little bit, come forward into plank, start to put weight in the hands, and then eventually start to move into down dog. And if you feel like you keep need to go forward and working on this rolling vinyasa, please do. Like, you know, I personally like to come up into my cow lift my knees about 10 inches off the ground, look through my legs, roll forward, looking back between my legs, then lower down when I see the front of the mat. And when you're ready, everybody, just go to your regular down dog, pedal the legs out, reach for legs, all of these things. But when you're in your down dog, connect to a few things. Connect to the weight distribution in hands and in feet. Think about your hands, are they under your, in front of your shoulders? Are your fingers spread out? Are your index fingers facing forward? Do you feel this inward rotation of your hands towards your ears? Everybody roll forward into plank and then drop your knees on the ground and stay right there. I want your hands under your shoulders. Look down at your hands under your shoulders and how your arms bend, that crease right there is called like the arm, the eyes of the arm. Turn your eyes of your arm inward. So you feel your elbows pointing out and then they turn and then they point behind you. Everybody that works on kicking up, this is the rotation that you should feel when you're pressing into your hands. Every time you lower down, you should feel this. You should feel your elbows turn inward and then point back. That's why we always have the metaphor of turning the left jaw open, turning the right jaw tight. And you'll notice this will bring the elbows in and then bring your scalpulas down your back. Keeping this inward rotation, lift your knees up and come back to down dog. Now you're gonna feel your hands a little bit different because you're gonna feel this opening and closing of the hands. Very important to maintain this. Let's do one vinyasa like this. Roll forward into plank, keep that rotation, lower down knees, chest, chin, elbows against body, come forward at the cobra, elbows against body, exhale through child, elbows against body, rolling up into cat, elbows against body, Inhale into cow, elbows against body, exhale into down dog. Holy shit, I said that a lot. Everybody look at your hands and walk your feet to your hands. And when you get out there, long back, forward fold, and repeat until the ground feels comfortable. Until you're like, okay, I can start touching the ground. I can bend the knees, I can get down. And then do all of this, breathe out of the normal, right? Inhale deeper. Slow it down on the exhale. Really bring a lot of awareness to how you're breathing and then how you're reacting to your body. Try to tie those two together the entire time. Rise up really slow on your inhale and then reach your arms back on the exhale. Then inhale nice and tall, grab onto the right wrist and over to the left wall. 
Inhale, lift tall, grab onto the left wrist, over to the right wall. Inhale, lift up, and then exhale, forward fold. We'll step the right leg back on the inhale. Everybody do all of the things that you need to do to warm up. Try to get the flat palms, maybe straighten the left leg out a few times. Maybe walk hand inside of left knee and walk hands out to the right side and do like a down dog over the right corner of your mat. And when everyone's ready, let's press right into down dog. Let's get the arms straight and long and then roll forward into plank and then lower down knees, chest, chin. Inhale into cobra, pull the shoulders back. Exhale through child's. Keep rolling up into cats, inhaling into cow, and exhaling into down dog. We're gonna pretty move pretty quickly in the beginning. Let's gain some heat. Right leg will lift on the inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through, look up. Left foot meets right, long back. Look to place the palms flat, including the heels of your hand on the earth. Rise up on the inhale, then reach even further back on the exhale. Inhale, nice and tall, stop there. Look up at your hands, place your palms flat against the ceiling or the sky. Turn those elbows in like we worked before, just like we worked before. And as you're looking up at the sky, press into the feet, feel the length of the elbows reach into the earth. Same thing when your hands are on the ground. Take a big inhale, forward fold on the exhale. Feel the backs of your legs, step the left leg back on the inhale, and then rock it out, everybody. Move over to the side, maybe straighten right leg out a few times, maybe drop left knee, walk hands to the front left corner of your mat, reach past the mat. And when everyone's ready, place the palms under the shoulders, go right into down dog, look through the legs, keep that rotation of the elbows, roll forward into plank, keep the rotation, lower down one more time, knees, chest, chin. Last time here, inhale into cobra, exhale through child's, Keep rolling up the cat, last time here. Inhale into cow, right to down dog, rotation of the elbows, everybody. Left leg will lift on the inhale. Exhale, knee to your nose, step it through, look up, right foot meets left, long back on the in, forward fold on the exhale. Inhale, let's come rising up, reach back on the exhale. Inhale, nice and tall, exhale, swan dive and fold. Right leg will go back on the inhale, chin will lift up, right to down dog on the exhale, straight arms, rotation of the elbows, press through the heels, look through the legs, roll forward into plank, lower down like an elevator, press through the feet, touch the ground, slide forward cobra, maybe up dog, and everybody right into down dog, walk the feet in a little bit. If you like to go through childs and cat and cow, please don't stop that. Right leg will come up on the inhale, Exhale, let's bring the knee to the nose. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knee to nose. Step through, look up. Left foot meets right, long back. Forward fold, palms on the ground. Inhale, come rising up. Reach even further back on the exhale. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, forward fold. Left leg will go back on the inhale. Rock it out, everybody. Look up. Right to down dog on the exhale. Let's look through the legs. Roll forward, looking through the legs. Lower down like an elevator, pressing to the hands and the feet. Inhale into cobra, up dog. And I'll meet you right into down dog. Take your time getting there. Once you arrive, everybody, left leg will lift on the inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knee to nose. Step through, look up. Right foot meets left. Long back on the in. Forward fold on the exhale. Inhale, come rising on up. And then reach even further back on the exhale. Inhale, nice and tall. Grab onto the right wrist. Over to the left wall. Push right hip to the right wall. Inhale, lift nice and tall. Grab onto the left and over to the right side. Inhale, lift up, look up, interlace hands behind lower back, and then forward fold. We've been working on this for weeks now. We're trying to get the shoulders open, elbows together, palms flat, hips over feet, which means you bend your knees a lot to keep belly on thighs, to keep nose underneath your kneecaps. Release the hands to the ground, flat palms. Step the right leg back, feel the stride. Step the left leg back, stop. Straight arms, everybody. And then lower down halfway. 
and then press up. And do like just five. Do just five. So when we do like a couple sets, we're gonna work on eccentric and slowing stuff down and find up dog when you're ready. And then everybody meet in down dog. And again, as you're going up and down, emphasize the hands, make sure they're flat and strong. Right leg will lift everybody, bend into the knee, over to the right side, left side. Keep reaching. Nice. And now everybody exhale, knee to nose, drop left knee. Reach the arms up into crescent lunge, sweep them all the way up. And then hands go to the front of the mat, left foot meets right, long back on the inhale, forward fold on the exhale. Inhale, come rising on up, and then reach even further back on the exhale. Inhale, nice and tall, exhale and forward fold. Left leg will go back on the inhale, feel the stride, look to the flat palms, right into plank. Feel the feet, round the back, lower down five times, press down, straight up, down, straight up, down, straight up, down, straight up, two more, and when you're ready on the fifth one, move into up dog, look up at the ceiling, shoulders back, and then roll right over the toes, down dog on the exhale. Left leg will lift up on the inhale, bend into the knee, over to the right side of the room. Try to get the knee to the nose and keep the palms flat. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through, drop right knee, sweep arms up, reach to the back of the room, feel left foot pull back, right thigh go forward, hands to the front of the mat, right foot meets left, long back on the in, forward fold on the exhale. Inhale, let's come rising up, and then reach even further back on the exhale. Inhale, nice and tall, pull the prayer in, feet step to the front of the mat, Let's move right into Sun A. Sweep the arms up on, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Look up on the inhale, jump back on the exhale. Inhale, take it to up dog, pull up, look at the ceiling, shoulders back. Exhale, let's take it into down dog. Straight arms, everybody, big inhale, big exhale. Right leg will lift on the inhale, bend into the knee, over to the left wall. Step the right foot outside the right hand, come into a lizard. You could drop left knee or you can keep hand, knee off the ground, but just try to get really low in the stride. If you want to, walk your hands as far forward as possible or walk your hands out to the left and really get into that right groin, feel the top of the left quad. Nice, everybody. Step the left foot outside the left hand. Hands will come to prayer. Look up towards the ceiling. Stand up tall, inhale. Come down, exhale. Up on the inhale, down on the exhale. Let's go three more. Up on the inhale. Down on the exhale, two more. Up on the inhale, down on the exhale. Last one, stand up tall, feet come together, hands come to prayer, shoulders roll back. Sweep the arms up, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Look up, flat hands, jump back on the exhale. Inhale, take it to up dog, look up. And then exhale, we'll take it to down dog. Walk the feet in a little bit, get those arms straight up, open up the fingers. Feel that rotation of your elbows. Left leg will lift up, bend into the knee, over to the right side. Try to go heel toe like you're running. Step your left foot outside your left hand. See if you gotta chuck it out there or you actually step it. Rock it back and forth. If you would like to, walk your hands out to the right side. Nice, everyone. Try to really feel the inside left thigh and top of right quad. Right foot steps outside, right hand. Stay there. Put your hands on the ground, everybody and then press into the palms and then straighten legs out, look behind you. Sit back down the squat, straighten the legs out, look behind you, press into the palms. Sit back down the squat and then straighten the legs out one more time, press into the hands, press into the hands, press into the feet, look under your legs. Come back down at the squat, hands come to prayer, shoulders back, stand up tall, inhale. Come down, exhale. Up on the inhale, down on the exhale. Up on the inhale, down on the exhale, last one. Feet come together, stand up tall, hands come to prayer. Sweep the arms up on the inhale, forward fold on the exhale. Look up on the inhale, jump back on the exhale. Inhale, let's take it to up dog, look up at the ceiling. Exhale, take it to down dog. We're gonna do three traditional sun A. So you jump forward, jump back, keep your knees together, keep your palms flat. Try to use your core, everyone. Bend into your knees, look at your hands, jump to the front. Long back on the in, forward fold on the exhale. Inhale, let's come rising on up. 
and then reach even further back on the exhale. Pull the prayer in the heart, arms alongside the body, step to the front of the mat, two more. Sweep the arms up on the inhale, forward fold, exhale. Look up, inhale, up back on the exhale. Inhale, take it to up dog, pull the shoulders back. Exhale, come in down dog, everybody. Straight arms, press those feet back. Notice your breathing. If your head is above your arms, bend the knees. Keep the hips up nice and high. Bend into the knees on the inhale. Jump to the front, exhale. Long back on the inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, come rising up, reach even further back, exhale. Step to the front of the mat if you're not at the front of the mat. Pull the prayer in, everybody. Nice, everyone. Big inhales, big exhales. Sweep the arms up on the inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Look up, inhale, jump back on the exhale. Inhale, pull it through, and up. And then exhale, we'll meet in down dog. Hold you down, dog. Inhale. Exhale. Deb, you're not going to move your doggy? You got to tell, tell that little pudge to fucking move, girl. <laughs> right leg will lift up on the inhale, everybody. Exhale, bend into the knee, over your body. And then we're going to break the triangle. Exhale to the right, over to the left. Shoot the leg out. Right hand stays down. Left arm lifts up. Nice, everyone. Keep lifting. One continuous movement to side plank and flip the dog. Left hand goes down, peel right leg up, drop it over you, drop the hips, come up, drop the hips, come up, drop the hips, come up, drop the hips. Try not to use right hand, pull right elbow back as right foot steps forward. Right foot to the front of the mat, crescent lunge, don't rush. Put the hands on the ground first, then sweep the arms on up. Take that time, right, to set your hands up, to set your body up. And when you sweep the arms up, everybody, we're going to move out to the right side. Right hand goes on right hip. Left arm reaches up over to right wall. Maybe right hand can touch the ground instead of your hip. Or maybe right hand goes on a block. Maybe you look towards left wall as you're reaching your left hand to the right side. Make sure your feet are strong on your mat. Arms will lift up. And let's move over to the other side. Again, we're getting into the hips. We're going to hit them from all different sections. In crescent lunge right now, we're on top, in front, underneath, and now we're moving out to the side. Arms will lift up on the inhale. Let's reach both hands forward. Pull left hand back. Keep shoulders over hips. Both palms face left side. Tilt it back. Keep right knee where it is. Everybody dragging. Right hand goes down. Right elbow presses into the knee. Left arm lifts up, look up at the left hand and try to really feel the inner right thigh. Pull the left arm along the body, reach the arms on up, lengthen both hands forward, pull the right hand back, tilt it back into the baby waterfall, take the baby waterfall right into Scandi. Left hand goes down, right hand with the sunfish, and then reach the right hand forward. I'll lay it out, and then everybody move through Scandies. We're gonna put a lot of emphasis on some movements inside Scandi this morning. So first warm up, get used to going side to side, get used to trying to straighten out the front leg or the back leg, however you're going, right or left. Get used to trying to get your hips as much as possible over your shoulders. What I mean is if you're moving side to side and your whole face is off the side of your mat, try to get your shoulders over your hips. The bottom heel might, might come down as flat. You also might not be able to straighten the legs out, but that's fine. Try to really discipline yourself in getting the alignment right. And then let's turn to the front of the mat. Let's find sunfish. And then from sunfish, let's find three-legged down dog. And then from three-legged down dog, everybody get your flow on. If you're kicking up, be aware of your hands, everybody, just like we spoke about before. If you decide to float up, be aware of the hands. Nice, hold, inhale, and exhale. Nice work, everybody, coming down slower and slower. It's how you land. Remember, it's how you land. Left leg will rise up on the inhale, bend into that knee, bend, bend, bend. Exhale to the left elbow, over to the right elbow, shoot the leg out, broken triangle. Lengthen all the way up, drive that hand down, keep going. Nice, nice. Open. Oh, look how long your legs are, Kayla. You got that fucking TV thing in the way. Hold, everybody. 
And then let's put our hand down and let's eventually move to side plank. Then find side plank and flip your dog. A lot of us have been grabbing onto our big toe. And we'll do this twice this morning so we give an opportunity to grab the toe. Drop your butt down, up and down if you're ready to lift up the hips. And when everyone's ready, remember left elbow drives back, left leg comes up, step the left foot to the front of the mat and come into crescent. Top of the right knee down, sweep the arms on up, lengthen, reach back, keep the left foot back, right thigh forward. Remember, for all the new people that aren't familiar with practicing with me a lot, I talk fast, do not keep up with me. There's a lot of new people that work with us now. Everybody reach both hands, stop for a second, put left hand on left hip, reach right arm over to the left side. Bring right hand on right hip, reach left hand over to the right side. Notice the breathing everyone. Sweep the arms up on the inhale. Now let's reach them forward, pull the right hand back like a bow. Once the full palm space right wall, tilt left hand back, keep left knee where it is. And then let's place left hand down flat inside of left foot. Let's push the elbow inside the knee and let's reach the right arm up. You can take your right foot, turn it to left to create a kickstand if you need. Notice if you can look up everybody and notice as the breath gets restricted, your inside left groin might be super tight right here. Bring the right arm along the body, lift back up into crescent, make sure you're pressing into the back right foot, then reach both hands forward, pull left hand back, shoulders remain over hips, tilt it back, keep left knee where it is, and then find your sunfish. Right hand will go down, left hand will go up, move around, and then reach it forward, we'll lay it out, and then everybody stands, come side to side. So something I would like for everybody to try and stand here. Let's say you bend your back right knee and come to standing in the back. Look at the front of your mat. Put left hand outside left knee, right hand inside left knee, and kind of like do a fold, like a half hanamasana, coming down into like a split over that straight left leg. And then walk your hands to your left foot. As your left knee bends, turn your body around, straighten right leg, Put left hand inside right knee, right hand outside right knee, and then fold over that straight leg. And then just keep doing it. Go to the front of the mat and do it again. And notice, keeping your hands on the ground, how you're pivoting your hips, and then walking your hands. And then we're eventually gonna take this hand walking later into like half moon. But I want you to try to get low and see, like have tunnel vision going forward and back, where you literally see the corners of your mat. And when everyone's ready, get to the front of the mat, move into your sunfish, take your sunfish into your three-legged dog, and we'll all meet back in down dog. Again, if you're looking, if you have a really strong, I'm, I mean, a weak chaturanga, then always do push-ups, man. Find the time to do the push-ups. Get on the ground and rep them out. There you go. And when you're ready, everybody, press back down dog. And then from the down dog, Bend into the knees, look at your hands, and then jump to the front. Long back on the inhale, forward fold on the exhale. Inhale, come rising on up, and then reach back on the exhale. Pull the prayer in, arms alongside the body. Bend your right knee, grab on top of your right foot, and open up the right quad. The next time we step through the crest lunge and we move in, we're gonna bind the lizard. So make sure you can feel your foot now and know how it, what it takes to grab the foot behind you. Kick your foot into your hand. Try to feel the quad, right quad open. Drop the right foot, lift up the left foot, do the same thing. I'm gonna ask you to do two rounds. See if the foot can come to your hand or if you have to reach down and grab your foot. Release the left foot, bend the right knee, grab onto the right foot. Squeeze into the hands. Maybe lift left arm up, maybe keep left hand on left hip. Drop it and lift up the left side. Last side, everybody, kick your foot into your hand. Feel your quad, feel your shoulder line up with your hips all the way down to the ankle. Release that foot, everyone. Bring the hands to prayer. Sweep the arms up on the inhale forward fold, exhale, flat hands, look up, 
jump back, exhale. Elbows against body, come forward up into up dog, spend time, straight arm. Roll over the toes, down dog is the exhale. Straighten the arms out, everybody. Right leg will lift up, bend into the knee, over the body, look under, come to one fingertip or five fingertips on the right hand. Nice. Before you break your triangle, if you want to, for all my kundinyasanas out there that have been working on it, bust one out before you break the triangle. Everybody, right knee, right elbow, and then eventually over to the left elbow, break your triangle, maybe find the arm balance first. And then as you're breaking the triangle, as that right leg is out there, your right hand is firm. When we put the left hand down, try to grab the big right toe and take it into side plank on your left side. Start to bring the right leg through. See if you can pause underneath your body, grab your big right toe with your index middle finger, turn to your left hand, turn to the edge of your left foot, lift the right leg to the sky. And then when you're ready, drop it behind you, put your ass on the ground, lift up. Put your ass on the ground, lift up. Put your ass on the ground, lift up. One more time, everyone. Right leg will lift up, step it all the way to the front of the mat, drop left knee, and come into a lizard. Bring both elbows down, bring the left knee back, and then take your right hand, reach it up to the ceiling, bend left knee, and grab the top of left foot. You can let right knee open up if you would like to, which means open up means that you let the knee fall towards the ground, and you go to the edge of your foot that lines up with the pink. You can come to your left elbow, you can stay on your left hand, you can look up over the right shoulder if you'd like to. And when everyone's ready, release the left foot and come up into crescent lunge, which means the left knee should probably move back a little bit. The right foot is there. And when the arms rise up, everybody, keep lifting, keep lifting. And let's go into eagle arms, everybody. Right arm over left arm. Wrap the right arm over left arm, bring the hands to prayer and then reach the fingertips over your head, pointing elbows forward, stay in that back then, which means right knee is pulling back, left hip is pushing forward. Release, sweep the arms up, reach them forward, pull the left arm back, tilt the right arm back. One last time, move into the dragon. Right hand goes down, look for the bind, some of you guys. Your right hand goes down easily. See if that right elbow and shoulder can sneak under the right quad. See if the left hand can come up and see if you can combine your hands on the outside of your right hip. But make sure you're looking up at the ceiling if you're going for the bind. You know what? Make sure you look at the ceiling no matter what. Don't do binding if it doesn't make sense to you. This is just an option for some people. When everyone's ready, release the hands, meet me back up in crescent lunge, and let's add to our baby waterfall before we move forward. Arms will reach forward, right hand will reach back, both palms will face the right side, tilt it back. And as you're tilting it back, see if right hand can touch back left heel. See if you can walk it, straighten out that right leg, keep reaching that left arm all the way back, keep the ball mound down of the right leg. And then when you're ready, start to walk it back. Take your left elbow, come over knee, over your right knee, and move into the twist. See if that left armpit can come over the right thigh. See if the right shoulder blade can face left wall. See if you can still feel your back left foot and the right foot underneath your right kneecap. Sweep the arms up on the inhale, right into your sunfish on the exhale. Left hand goes down, right hand goes up, and then reach it forward. Olay it out and stay in Olay. You should be on the knife edge of your left foot. You can feel your left ankle, you can feel your left shin, you can feel your left knee, and you can feel a big stretch right into your left armpit. And then swing it around and start to move through Scandies. If you were, if you couldn't understand what I was talking about with the Scandies before, let's say that you are bending into your left knee and your right leg is straight. You put your right hand outside your right kneecap, your left hand inside your right kneecap, and you fold in like a runner split. And then you walk your hands forward as your right knee bends, you pivot. You look to the back of the mat, your left leg is straight, right hand inside left knee, left hand outside left knee, and you try to bring your nose over your kneecap, but flex in the tops of your toenails back to get into that hamstring and to get really low, keeping your hands on the ground. And when everyone's ready, turn to the front of the mat, find your sunfish, 
Take your three-legged dog. Remember the rotation of the elbows. Every time you kick up, keep those elbows rotating in. Keep looking down at those hands. And then when you float up, you float up. Nice. Keep going, everybody. And when everybody's ready, meet me in the down doggies. Inhales and exhales. Find that down dog, everybody. Big breath in, big breath out. Nice. All right, everybody, left leg will come up on the inhale. Bend into that knee. Keep bending, keep bending. Come to those fingertips of your left hand. Maybe one fingertip, maybe all five fingertips. Remember, look for Kundinyasana if you would like to. Left eye, left elbow, left knee. Over to the right, break the triangle. Maybe find the float first. And then come back up and then break your triangle. Maybe look for Kundinyasana A and get that left Knee, knee over right elbow and lean into it. Remember to keep the left ankle under the body before you go to side plank. Start to peel the left leg under your body. Stop there. Transfer to your right hand. Grab your big left toe with your middle and index finger. Turn to the side. Open up the left leg. And when you're ready, try to drop it behind you. Put your ass on the ground. Lift up and just continue. Keep reaching. Keep reaching. Nice. And again, try not to use your left hand. Left leg will rise up. Step the left foot to the front of the mat. Top of left foot down. Bottom left foot down on the ground. And move into your lizard. Try to have the left ankle underneath the left knee. Not under the quad, but out in front of the left knee. Try to get the right leg to go back so the right femur is facing down. Then take left hand, reach up, bend right knee, and reach back and grab the top of the foot. If you would like to, look at your left knee or even push into it and let the left knee open so you feel the groin like when we do in scandies. You can come to your elbow if that helps. You can use the same hand on the same side of the leg that's bending and reach back for it as well. Nice, everybody. One more breath here. Remember to feel the ground with your feet and top of ankle. Release the foot. Sweep the arms up on the inhale. Nice, everyone. And now left arm over right arm in Garandasana in eagle arms. Put the left elbow in the crease of your right arm and see if your hands can combine. Reach your fingertips up and over your head, elbows reaching forward so you feel shoulders reach away from each other. Keep pulling the left foot back, keep pushing the right thigh forward. And when everyone's ready, release the hands, reaching forward, pull the right arm back, hold palms facing left or right wall, tilt it back, and then find the dragon. I'm gonna talk about the bind again. Left palm goes flat just behind left ankle. Left elbow sneaks underneath the knee. The back of your left hand touches the back of your left hip. Your right arm will reach up. It'll make an outward rotation and then the back of the right hand will try to go inside your left hand. You'll look up over your right shoulder, maybe towards the back of the room. You could try to straighten the left leg out if you're looking for the bind. You could take that into like a short little bird of paradise, pulling the shoulder back. And when everyone's ready, remember, do not rush. You know where we're going. Reach the arms back up into your crescent lunge. Then reach both hands forward. Pull the left hand back. Shoulders remain over knees. Feet pulling in two different directions. Tilt it back and try to have left hand touch right ankle all the way back. Maybe straighten the left leg out, push into the ball mound of the left foot, squeeze the left thigh. Now remember, we're going to take this big, big twist and we're going to eventually take that right elbow over the left thigh. Start to bend into the left knee again. Take that right elbow, come overneath the left thigh. When you get there, hands come to prayer and pull it back. Try to imagine that you can touch your left shoulder blade and right shoulder blade to the right side of the room. The weight is over the knee, the knee is over the ankle, but you're still pulling the feet in two different directions. Sweep the arms up on the inhale, and then find your sunfish on the exhale. Right hand goes down, left hand goes up. Last time everybody to work on this crawling skandhanasana. Let's reach it forward, let's ole it out. Stay here, feel that long stretch in the right side of your body, and then take it to the back and then you get to the back. See if you wanna put your hands inside and outside your knees or continue to move forward, cross your wrist in the middle and then take your straight leg and reach an arm towards the arch of the foot of the straight leg 
and reach the other arm to the back of the room. And then every time you go in the middle of your mat, you cross your wrists and you open up. Backs of hands reach for inside arch straight leg. Back of hand reaches for other side of the room. Feel your shoulders stack up behind your hips. And when you're ready, everybody, take it to the front of the mat. Find your sunfish, right hand goes down, left hand goes up, three-legged down dog, and then take your three-legged down dog into your flow. And if you're floating up, remember, elbows turning, looking down at those hands. There you go. Don't think too much. Nice, Irene. Come on, kick up. Yes. Good job, everybody. Hold. There you go. And again, it's about the landing. For people that are building strength, keep the push-ups in your, in your practice, everybody. And when everyone's ready, hold your down dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Nice, everybody. Bend into your knees. Take a big inhale and then jump to the front. Long back on the inhale. Forward fold on the exhale. Touch your toes and then sit down in your chair. Stand up nice and tall. Pull the prayer in the heart. Nice, everybody. Lift your right knee cap up, interlace your fingers over your right knee, and then let go of the knee and lift your arms up. And we do this every day. Take your right ankle, turn it towards left wall so you feel pigeon. Take your right ankle and turn it towards right wall. Take the right knee above your hip and send it back into a warrior three shape. And everybody, it doesn't matter what you're doing with your upper body, just work on your balance. Your balance is equated to where you're looking, how far you could feel your feet, where your hands are going, and then bring your right knee back up and over. And when it hovers in front of you, take your right ankle and put it on top of your left knee and sit down into a chair. If you would like to, you could put your left hand and grab your right foot and put your right hand on your right knee. When you're sitting in Ukatasana with your right ankle on top of your left knee, and see if you could feel your hips as you settle down. And then everybody release, stand up tall, put the right foot next to the left, lift up the left kneecap. And once the left knee is, interlace the fingers, pull it against the thigh, feel the right quad stay engaged. Then release the knee, let the knee hover in front of you. Turn your left ankle to the right. Keeping the knee in front of your hip, turn your left ankle to the left. Then bring that momentum of the edge of your left knee out to the side of your body as you tilt forward with the upper body into warrior three. Right foot is strong. Try to lengthen through the left toes as you reach the top of your head forward. And remember, we're gonna to try to keep the knee above your hip. Bring the knee out in front of you. And as it comes out in front of you, when the knee stops in front of you, cross your left ankle on top of your right knee and then sit down into chair, into Utkatasana, which means that your hips try to get as low as your bottom knee. Flex in the left toes towards your left kneecap. Maybe arms reach up in chair, or maybe right hand grabs left foot, left hand grabs left knee, and you can try to open up your hips here. Stand up tall, left foot steps next to right. Sweep the arms up on the inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Sit down chair on the inhale and then twist off to the right side on the exhale. See if you can hold this twist. See if both shoulders can face the left wall. Settle in, try to get low. Look down at your feet. Lift your left foot off the ground two inches. Keep it next to the right foot. And then start to send it all the way back until the left ball mount can land at the back of the mat. You can let go completely, guys, and just get your left foot to the back of the mat and come back into a twist. Again, a lot of the things that we do in between holding poses are challenges for all of the twitch muscles and the connection of mind and body movements. Look down at your right foot, left foot steps next to right. See if you can still feel your hips below your knees, then sweep your arms up, inhale, then over to the other side. Get the right elbow against the knee, look up at the ceiling, and then look down at the knees and the feet, lift up the right foot, send it back nice and smooth. Keep going, keep going. Wiggle the toes, wiggle the toes. Feel that hip open, everybody. Feel the belly in strong. Look down at the feet, right foot meets left. 
once you arrive, sweep the arms up on the inhale, forward fold, exhale, look up, inhale, jump back on the exhale. Inhale, take it to up dog, spend some time here. Exhale, take it to down dog. Hold your down dog, everyone. Right leg will lift up on the inhale. Let's move into pigeon on the exhale. We're gonna move through pigeon pretty frequently. So settle in, get the right knee behind the right wrist, get the right ankle towards the left wrist, slide the left leg back, maybe stay up. Maybe don't automatically go into like a reclining pigeon, what they call it, which means you pretty much lay down every time you hit pigeon. Maybe stay up, feel that left quad press down, feel the left knee press down, keep walking the hands on up. Nice. Everybody swing the left leg around, put the bottom of right foot inside left thigh, arms will reach up on the inhale, and then forward fold into the left leg on the exhale. We'll take three breaths, inhale, exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale. Last one. Bring bottoms of feet together in Baddha Konasana. Get the feet to come together, pull the heels in. Nice, everybody. Three breaths here. Maybe push elbows in, knees. Maybe forward fold, maybe stay up. Maybe move side to side, maybe add a twist. Again, always options for you, what makes sense to you. From here, everybody, close your knees like a book. Slide your hands under your kneecaps, lift your knees up against your chest, point your toes to the ceiling, and come up into boat. Lift the heart up, open the palms up. We're gonna do five jellyfish, jump back, chaturanga, go to pigeon on the left. Roll back on the inhale, lift on the exhale. Roll back, inhale, lift, exhale. Roll back, inhale, lift, exhale. Two more. After the second one, jump back, chaturanga, hands over knees, put weight in hands, jump back, inhale into up dog, exhale into down dog, left leg will lift up, pigeon to the left. Left knee goes behind the wrist, left ankle towards right wrist, slide right leg back, maybe stay up. Maybe keep your hands on the ground, keep your chest lifting, maybe walk your hands back, keeping right thigh pressing down, feeling top of right ankle. Nice, everybody. Two more breaths. Inhale, exhale. One more. Swing right leg around, put the bottom of left foot inside, right leg, pull five right toenails back, lift arms up, forward fold over the right leg. Feel the edge of your left knee, move towards the ground, keep the right toes pulling back. One more breath here, guys. Roll up, put the bottoms of feet together, maybe bring them closer to you, or maybe move them away from you. Look up at the ceiling, forward fold if you would like to. You can walk your hands out if you would like to. You could push into your knees. You could take left hand outside right knee and twist, right hand outside left knee and twist. You can move side to side, putting hands on the ground, reaching side to side. Again, just don't be stagnant. Slide your hands under your knees, bring your knees together, pull the thighs against the body, lift the toes up, balance on the sits bones. And when you're balancing on your ass in boat, try to keep the weight towards your hamstrings, not towards your lower back. Keep the chest lifting, keep looking at the toes. Roll back on an inhale, come back to this position on an exhale. Roll back on an inhale, come back, exhale. Three more, roll back, inhale, come back, exhale. Roll back, inhale, come back, exhale. One more time, roll back, inhale, Jump back, chaturanga on the exhale. Inhale, we'll take it to up dog, look up at the ceiling. Exhale, take it to down dog. That transition of rolling over your knees and jumping back, if that's a struggle for you, then do it slower. Take your time to figure out how you get over your knees, and then you step back, but take your time. Right leg will come up on the inhale. Everybody pigeon on the right side on the exhale. When you come into pigeon, there's a lot of different things you could do here, guys. If you want to, you could take your right elbow, put it inside the right arch of your foot, and bring your hands to prayer and take a twist towards the left wall. You could keep your hands parallel to your shoulders, come out to your fingernips, and roll up and lower down. You can walk your hands back. You could bend your left knee. You can reach back for your left foot, but try to encourage movement to get into the right hip flexors, into the preformis, feel the left quad. 
Nice. And now when everyone's ready, let's walk that left leg to the front of the mat. Put the right foot inside somewhere. You can take the right edge of your right foot, put it inside the crease of your left eye. You can put your right foot in front of your left ankle. Arms will reach up, fold. Instead of doing Janyu, maybe do the Parvita, the, the revolve, putting left hand inside, left foot, right arm reaching up, right hand reaching down the outside of your left foot, looking up at the ceiling, feeling again in the hips, in the left hamstring, inside the left groin, feeling that right side of your body open up. Nice. Everybody take this into gate pose. So come on down, right? You find the stargazer. Then you slide the knee under the hip and you reach the arms up. The left leg is straight. You reach your left hand down your straight left leg. Your right knee is under your hip. Your arms reach, your right arm reaches towards the front of the room and you feel the whole side of your right side of your body stretch. And now everybody cartwheel to the back of the mat. Come into your plank. Pause when you get to the plank. You're in the back of your mat. Nice, everybody. Take a big inhale in. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale into up dog. And then exhale into down dog. Hold your down dog, everyone. Bend into your knees. Listen up. And then jump to the back of your mat. Sit down and lift up both. Once you arrive in boat, we're all facing the back side of our mat now, guys. We're all facing the back side of the mat. I want to see if everyone can really work on this. Legs are up, heart is up. We'll roll back three times and then jump back, chaturanga. Roll back on the inhale, lift on the exhale. Roll back on the inhale, lift on the exhale. Roll back. When you come up, cross ankles. Pull hands in front of the knees, step into hands, jump back, lower down, pull the heart up, shoulders back, ankles down, and we'll roll over the toes and we'll find down dog. Nice, everybody. I'm telling you, that transition of rolling over your knees is really hard for a lot of people, and everything that is hard gets easier through practice. Left leg will lift on the inhale. We're facing the back of the mat, everybody. Pigeon on the left side, left knee behind the wrist, ankle over to the other wrist. Remember, Lots of things that you could do here if you would like to. Take your left elbow, put it inside the left arch of your foot. Get the prayer and turn towards the right wall. For everybody that knows how to do or has been practicing flying pigeon, definitely get the elbow in now because when we get to the front of the mat, I'm gonna ask you to come into that Ukatasana again. And for some of you, you guys can work on your arm balance. And for some of you, just work on balance and opening your hips in general. Maybe you bend your back right knee and grab that foot as well. When everyone's ready, release whatever you're doing. Walk your hands up. Swing that right leg around. Put the bottom of the foot inside the thighs. We're going to go over the revolve version. Arms lift up on the inhale. Right hand goes inside right foot. Right hand turns for archer foot, thumb down. Left hand reaches outside right foot. Try to look under left armpit towards the sky or ceiling. A lot of you guys are outside. Really awesome to see that. And again, if this is like totally uncomfortable for you, now you know, pinpoint the uncomfortableness. And then just accept it and breathe. We all have these images of what poses should look like now because of social media. It really has fucked up so much. When everyone's ready, let's move into gate pose. So cartwheel that left hand, right? Boom, on the ground. Straighten the back leg. And then keep the knee under the hip. Arms will rise up. Hand will go down the straight leg. Left arm will reach up towards the back of the room. Feel the whole IT band along the left side of your body. And when I ask you to place your hands to the front of the mat, make sure you know that your palms go flat. Cartwheel your hand to the front of the mat. Left hand down, right hand down. Step back into your plank. Feel your legs. Lower down the way that you like on an exhale. Inhale, lift up the way that you like. And then exhale, we'll meet in down dog. Everybody, hold your down dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Open your feet nice and wide and walk your hands back to your feet. And let's get down in a really wide squat. Let's stay consistent what we've been doing every single day for weeks now. And we've been adding this frog and we're trying to work on getting the hips open, getting the arm balance in. Everybody slide your hands forward, 
and then frog hop outside your hands. Do it three times. Go right to the front. See if you could slow the weight down. See if your heels can go past your fingers. When you get to the front of the mat, jump, do a 180, turn around, and do it to the back of the mat. Some of you guys will come up, clap the bottoms of your feet. Some of you will come in and work on go jumping into crow. When you get to the back of the mat, turn again, and then stop. Everybody stay in the back of the mat. So when you do this frog hop, for some of you that are really getting it, instead of jumping outside and landing, try to jump into crow. See if your knees can land on top of your triceps. Slide your hands forward and jump outside your hands or do different options that we've worked on. And then put your hands down, slide your hands forward and do it again. And when you get to the back of the mat, hands come to prayer, 180, turn the opposite way if you would like to and do it to the back of the mat. And when you get to the back of the mat, everybody turn around and find your squat. Once you arrive in your squat, everybody, walk your hands forward and then come into a plank. Lower down a vinyasa, maybe knees, chest, chin if you're tired. Come forward into cobra, up dog. And then exhale into down dog. Nice work, everybody. Bend into your knees. Take a big inhale in and then jump to the front. Long back on the inhale, forward fold, exhale. Touch your toes, sit down chair, Utkatasana, right? Hips are low, arms are reaching, look up towards the hands. Stand up nice and tall, pull the prayer in, nice. So for everybody that's looking for the arm balance here, take one step back, sweep the arms up on the inhale, forward fold, exhale, sit down chair on the inhale, right leg will lift, take right ankle, cross it over left knee, and then once right shin goes parallel, you can take your hands that are in prayer and place them on the ground in front of you. Once they go on the ground, your top of your right foot's gonna hook your left elbow, and then your shin is gonna rest on both elbows, and then you'll look to lift into the arm balance. So your right shin is on both elbows, you're looking forward, your left leg will extend in the sky if possible. Yeah, keep looking forward. Keep hooking those toes. You got it, Diane. I'll, I'll talk you through the other side. Come back, I'll talk you through the other side. Everybody come back into chair, come back into chair. And again, guys, the idea of practicing asana is find a lot of humbleness in it. You don't kind of do everything. People try to overachieve way too fucking much. Sweep the arms up on the inhale, forward fold, exhale. Sit down chair on the inhale. So again, the, the focus now is to try to get your ass as low as your knees. Lift your left knee up. Take your left ankle and put it on top of your right knee. Stay there for the people that can't go any further. Work on your balance. Now for every that the hips are open here, put your hands to prayer and place your hands in front on the front of your mat. Your shin is gonna be on both of your triceps. Your left foot is gonna be hooking your right tricep. Put your hands on the ground, lean forward, and once the shoulders over your hands, you feel crow, see if you can lift up the back leg. That's it, keep looking forward, you feel crow. There you go, just a little bit, look at that right leg, man. A little bit, there you go. Again, now notice if you're holding your breath. Hold, all right, everybody, stand up, stand up. I'm gonna come back to this in a second because I don't wanna fucking, a lot of the times people do this, they get discouraged and we lost the flow. Take this, take the sweep in the arms up on the inhale, everybody. Forward fold on the exhale. Look up on the inhale, jump back on the exhale. We're gonna do a warrior two, everybody. We're gonna go extended and we'll get our flow on from there. Let's just shake all this shit off. Right leg will lift up on the inhale. Exhale, step it through, warrior two. Rise on up. Warrior two is like, like cleaning off the, uh, the, the chalkboard. Starts all over. Reverse it on the inhale, everybody. Extended angle, right elbow goes down, left hand goes up. Reach it to the front of the room. Find your sunfish, left hand goes down, right hand goes up. Everybody, three-legged dog, turn those elbows in, press into those fingers, look at your hands, and when you float up, find the softness. Find the softness. Nice, everybody. Yes, Andrew. Oh, dog. Nice, good job, everybody. Remember, come right back. Nice, Michelle. Super strong, girl. Left leg comes up on the inhale, everybody. Step the left leg through, 
warrior two. Remember, smooth. Come up nice and smooth. Once you arrive, reverse it on the inhale. Extended angle on the exhale. Reach it up and long. Reach it up and long. And when everyone's ready, find your sunfish, get your flow on, and we'll meet in down dog. For everybody that's working on their handstands, remember, make sure that your gaze does not go past your fingertips. Your gaze goes past your fingertips, your hands walk that way, your feet follow that way. Keep the gaze down at the fingertips. Don't worry about actually holding it. Worry about all the mechanics that it takes to get there. Fuck holding it. And when you're done, everybody, meet me in down dog. You know what happened? I shortchanged you guys um, when we went for the flying crow. We should have worked on crow first, and I apologize about that. Walk your hands back to your feet and sit down and squat in the back of the mat. And we're going to do three crows, and then we're going to go after this flying crow one more time. But remember, you bring your knees over your wrists. Put your hands on the ground, slide your hands forward, lift your knees above your triceps, then bring your knees towards your wrists, come onto your tippy toes, look about 10 inches in front of your fingertips, and then find the counterweight, right? Your chin is out in front of you, your knees are over your wrists, your big toes are touching, your thighs are pulling towards your ribs, your fingertips are engaging where your hands are going at. If the weight is in the heels of your hands, you always fall back to your feet. If the weight is in the heels of your hands, you always fall back. Sit down in your squat, slide your hands forward, jump outside your hands, and then if you would like to stand up tall and then come down, reach your hands forward, lift up again. See if the crow can lift up higher, find more ease, feel the fingertips. Again, for crow, the gaze goes forward. If you look straight down, you feel like you're gonna teeter over and fall on your forehead. Keep the gaze forward, touch the toes, lift the knees. And when you're ready, everybody, come down into the squat, move side to side, slide your hands forward, jump outside your hands. You should be at the front of your mat, maybe stand up once, come back down, reach them a little bit more forward, pull the knees over, and look for the arm balance. Look for the arm balance. For some of you, you might wanna go headstand, you might wanna jump back, chaturanga, we didn't do any of that today. All right, everyone, when everybody's done, meet me in standing at the front of your mat. We're gonna go after this motherfucker one more time. Again, Let's break it in sections. For the people that cannot get their arms on the ground, do what you can do balancing on one foot. Work on your hips, work on your balance, right? Deal with the shit that's fucking handed to you. Everybody feet together, hands come to prayer. Sweep the arms up on the inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Touch your feet, sit down chair. This is when you know your shit is tight or not. If your ass is really low, your arms are high, you keep reaching and you have a lot of ease, it's gonna come to you. Lift the right kneecap up into your chest. Cross the right ankle over the knee. Flex the toes towards right knee. Hands are in prayer. Then place your hands in front of your body just like you would do crow. The right top of foot hooks the left tricep. Shin is across the elbows. You look forward, feel your fingertips, and try to lift that left leg up. Oh yeah, but you gotta lean it to those fingers. You're almost there, Diane. Oh, yeah. Hold, and again, for some of you, just stay here and deal with it. Ooh. All right, everybody, stand up, everyone. One more side, one more side. Mm -mm -mm. I hope Michelle is here somewhere, man. She's actually asked me for months when I was 6 a.m. class to do this shit, and I forgot. Everybody sweep the arms up, forward fold, sit down chair. Nice. Left leg will lift up, cross it over the right ankle. Last time, guys. See if the hands come to prayer. See if the hands can touch the ground. Again, everybody go for what we talked about, but some of you should put your left hand on your left knee and, and hold your left foot with your right hand and feel that hip because when you do this, your hips are going to shift one way and you're working on getting into the preformis, into the hip flexors, into the psoas. Notice what your foot is doing and just stay there. Nice. And again, the value of the arm balance. Hold. All right, everybody. When everyone's ready, jump back, chaturanga. If you felt lost, who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? You guys are moving around. Don't worry about it. Don't take it too serious. Hold your down dog, everybody. We're going to bring in the bird dog. And then from the bird dog, we're going to go gamagatsa. It's a cow face pose. Roll forward into plank. Drop your knees on the ground. 
right hand reaches forward, left toes reach to the back of the room. Lift those two up on an inhale, and then bring right elbow to left knee under your body, and then when you get there, adjust the hand that's on the ground. Make sure you're comfortable where it is. Then inhale, lift those two. Then exhale, bring it in. Inhale, right arm lifts, left leg lifts. Exhale, bring it in. Two more times, inhale, lift. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, lift, reach back, grab the top of the foot. So your right hand grabs left foot. You can look up over left shoulder if you would like. Nice, and I'm gonna ask you to tuck your left knee behind your right knee. Everybody release the foot, take your left knee, come behind your right knee, open up your ankles, and see if your butt can sit down between your ankles. So now the right knee is gonna be over the left, your feet are open, you sit down, and then right arm is gonna reach up to the ceiling, right palm is gonna go down the back side of your neck, left hand's gonna go up your spine. You could stay right here. You could combine the hands. You could fold if you don't like going right arm over left and coming into the bind behind your neck. You can come into Garandasana arms. You could take left arm over right and come into eagle arms. You could stay here, but you're going to feel both hips open. Kneecaps are on top of each other. If this is too much for you, just don't do it. Just come out of it. Come on your knees, sit there, and work on whatever is challenging you, but breathe into that area. I'm gonna ask you for one more breath, everybody. We're gonna roll over our knees, we're gonna do a cat-cow, we're gonna do the left side. When everyone's ready, roll over your hands and knees, move through cat and cow to adjust the knees, adjust the hands. And when everyone's ready, left hand reaches forward, left thumb is up, right toes reach to the back, inhale, lift those two. Exhale, bring them underneath the body, cat your back. Inhale, lift out, reach up those two. Exhale, come in. We have three more, we hold on the third. Try to lengthen and reach up. Then exhale, come in, try to touch knee inside. Keep going, lift up, knee inside. One more time, lift up, reach back, grab the top of the foot. What is the balancing hand doing? And when everyone's ready, Right knee slides behind left. You try to line up the inside kneecaps. You open your feet as wide as your ass. You see if you could sit down. And then left arm will lift up. Palm will come down the neck. Knuckles will go up the spine. Look up at the ceiling. And if you would like to, you could fold. You could stay here. You could take right arm over left arm and go back into eagle arms. Try to feel the hips, everybody. Feel them. Feel them. And now when everyone's ready, arms will lift up, roll over your hands and knees, and then move through cat and cow. Two poses, everybody, and we're toast. We're gonna do the frog of loveness, and then we're gonna come down on our backs and finish in happy baby. So no matter where you are, come to the middle of your mat and turn to one side of the room, which means that you are literally in the middle of that, we're always facing forward, you turn to the side of the mat. Look at your knees, and then open your knees as wide as you can. Open your knees as wide as you can. And now point your toes to the front side of your mat and to the back side of the mat so you can feel your inside arches and your inside ankles touch the ground. Now walk your hands away from you and so your ass stays over your knees. So your knees are on the ground, you're facing the side of your mat, your feet are pointing front and back of your mat and you're walking your hands out. And as you walk your hands out, see if you can then put one hand on the ground, flat, the other hand on top of the knuckles, drop your forehead on top of your hands. And I'm gonna talk about this because people are hot messes when it comes to the frog. Your feet are on the insides of your feet. The insides of your feet, I'll give you a hint, is along your big toes. And there's a thing called an arch there. That arch is trying to touch the ground and the arch is associated with your ankles and your ankles are trying to touch the ground. Your hips are right where your pockets go. Your hips are over your freaking knees. Your hands walk out. So you feel like you're doing down dog. For a lot of people, this is some hard ass shit, man. Your groins are like, what the fuck is going on? 
keep reaching out. Inhale, and again, if your feet are together, if your toes are not pointing to the fucking mat, if you don't feel your arches of your feet, imagine that there was a wall behind you, and you put the, your feet flat against the, the wall, and then your toes had a point left and right, and your arches are down, and then your ass is over your knees, your hands are out. There you go, point your toes. Point your toes, Diana. Right, and then one last thing, your knees are lined up with your ankles. Toes are pointing, and this pose is called frog pose. It's either you hate it or you love it. We'll take three more breaths. I'm going to say it one last time. Your knees and ankles are aligned. Your left toes are pointing forward. Your right toes are pointing back, or vice versa. Your arches are you're down on the ground. Your hips are over your knees. You feel your inside groins. You hardly have any weight on your elbows because you're resting your forehead on your knees. You're looking to open up the insides of your legs. Oof, that was a hard one. When everyone's ready, let's walk our hands back under our body, our knees under our body, and then turn to the front of the mat, roll to one side of the mat, extend the legs forward, pull the knees into the chest, and we'll arrive on our backs. I would make a video with Janine to do this, but Janine, you would want to kill her when she does frog. She just looks like she can go to sleep. Everybody pull the knees into the chest and let's do happy baby. Elbows in the knees, reach out, feet go over knees. And again, if this should feel really easy for all the work that we've done, try to get the ribs flat, try to feel the neck flat, try to feel the tailbone flat. Keep lengthening everybody. Get those knees over those, get the feet over the knees. Do the work, pull it down, pull it down, pull it down. And when everyone's ready, let's release the legs to the front of the mat. Let's open up the arms. Let's find that longness. And when you get out there, let's take a really big, big inhale in, and then a big exhale out. One last thing before I become quiet for the next two minutes, if you would like to. Bring the bottoms of your feet together in Baddha Konasana. Continue to work on the hips. Bring your arms above your head, grab opposite elbows. Let your knees just open up gradually and keep the bottoms of your feet touching. Take a big inhale in and then exhale it out. Let's all start to increase our breathing. And then we'll reach our arms up overhead. And then we'll reach them past our ears. We'll open and close the fists as we try to reach the arms out longer than each other. Extend the feet. Take a big inhale and draw the knees into the chest on the exhale. And as the knees come into the chest, roll to the side of the body and feel how easy it is to move side to side when we first started. Keep the eyes closed, draw the knees in, take a big inhale, and then just sink into the ground on the exhale, and then roll up nice and slow. And again, finding the routine that you built of coming up, letting the head come up last, keeping the eyes closed, trying to look inward, focusing on the breath, 
feeling the practice of the movement. And then we'll bring our hands to prayer. And we'll bow into the prayer and just recognize everybody in our life as light. The light within me honors the light within all of you. Namaste, everyone. Yeah. So, guys, before everybody jumps out, just I just want to remember to just to tell everybody that you know, um, Saturday and on Sunday for years we've had this routine. Saturday we really try to focus on the hips. Sunday we try to do a lot of back bending and core. Work. So always we try to divide it and so we really can put the work in and we can have a really well rounded because a lot of us wait for the weekend to come. So when you're here, know what's going to happen. You know what I mean? So you can be mentally prepared. So when you start to warm up, all right. Thank you guys so much. And hopefully that when you're doing shit outside today, you start yes. to a couple of frogs and sea monkeys and have some yes. fun with your body. A lot of crows and Coco. Yeah, a lot of crows. Everybody. Nice to see everybody. Thank you, Coco. Have a good day, everyone. Enjoy the time. Yeah, love yeah. you guys. I'll talk to you later. I can. Go, go, later. Hey, my Facebook fam. I hope you guys join right. me. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Coco. Yeah, dog. See you, Coco, later, man. Later, later home. Good to see you, brother. Miss you. Miss you later. Yeah, Jeremy. I got your message, Jeremy. I didn't know you were a fisherman. That's awesome. <laughs> Bye, Kim. Bye, Sherry. Good job with the push-ups. I saw that shit. Thank good job. I'm working, yeah, I'm working. See you tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye, Coco. Bye. Bye, Coco. Bye, love.